Uh, welcome back to another episode of Castilla, soon to be Spain, and soon to be the Empire Emperor of that land. That land. I'll call it that land. That's what I'll do. So we are going to just gain the promises that we were supposed to gain last episode. Made me so mad when I did not finish this. It was just like, ah. Uh, and quickly core everything because coin helps the world go around. And I can't build any of those things. So let's start building some docks. I haven't built docks in a long time. And yeah, let's. What else can we spend our money on? Um, let's see. Our naval force limit is a little bit low, so we don't have enough money for naval force limit. But when we do, I would hopefully think that we would spend it on that. And anyways, now we are just going to casually relax as we, you know, burn off infamy, burn off time. You know, burn off a general resentment by the rest of the world, because I'm pretty sure coalitions are starting to be formed against me. Uh, actually, most people are pretty still indifferent about me, being really, uh, ag really aggro right now. That's good. I'm glad they're indifferent. It makes my life a whole lot easier. Um, and for some reason, our administrative power just went down to, like, nothing. So that means we didn't get to get the technology we needed so that we could finally get the idea, which then we could finally go and go colonize a little bit, which would be nice. I mean, who would not, as a European power in this time, not want to go colonize? I mean, it's like, I feel like it's like the end goal of everything. Your life basically revolves around colonizing. Okay, and let me combine these troops because I know they were even before, before I sent them in. So let's just combine them in for a second. 31, combine, split, go. I mean, in this time frame, being a colonist, colonizer, or being a... Oh, by the way, you guys, I think I'm just going to keep you guys divided because you guys are pretty good divided. You guys go right here. You guys go right there. And just protect my trade interests over here and that'll be fine. But, I mean, colonizing must be the most joyous thing in the world. You took my cardinal. Oh, shoot, that was the wrong cardinal. Oops. Well, I'm still competing for that guy, apparently. Oh, gosh. I didn't really want that guy, but apparently I'm still, like, I'm still, he's still a part of my empire. Oh, gosh. Okay, so, yeah, that was a dumb little, like, minor mistake I made. I mean, it's not, like, one of those big mistakes that is, like, unreprehensible, but it's just one of those tiny mistakes that you just get annoyed by. Okay, so let's see. Ah, we could lose that. I don't really care. We're not really... I'm not... I don't think I'm too behind right now, the other world powers. Yeah, for the most part, France, England, and most of the other guys are not... Are not really doing too well. I mean, the only people that are kind of a threat to us are Savoy, uh... Switzerland. <laughs> wow, Switzerland's actually a threat. And so is Bohemia, but... To be honest, they're such a small countries that I... I have no fear in fending them off. Like the name Switzer the name in this game of Switzerland does and Savoy just does not fill me with the name the same dread as when you say Austria or Hungary or France. For some reason it just doesn't. I don't know if it's just like I'm too much of a um uh I'm drawing a blank here, people. I'm I can't think of the name, but Let's save all of our, our leadership points for when we actually gain our good new leader. Well, not leader. Our good idea groups. I'm going to try not to spend any more admin points. Oh, I know where the admin points went. We had the cord. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I know there's a... I actually was still doing good. Oh, my... No way. I... No way. The... That is lovely, people. That is, like, the epitome of horrible leaders. Like, I've always thought of, like, 1-1-1 one, one, one being a terrible leader, but 0-0-0. Uh, zero, zero, zero. I mean, this leader right here just did the cake. I, 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 there, let me just put this like this. There have been really bad leaders in my Let's Plays before. Really terribly bad. To the point of non-existence. I've never been able to get a zero, zero, zero. This guy, a farm, basically this means, guys, is a farmhand could do better than this guy. A, 
a Regency Council could be doing better than this guy. I don't... In fact, I wouldn't mind having a Regency Council right now, so... By the all-meeting gods of EU4, please kill this emperor as quickly as possible. And I know he's not an emperor and he's a king, but please kill him as fast as possible. Like, we don't want him. Also, at the same point in time, I'm also going to fabricate a claim onto the last province I need, just so that we have that. We can also invest into our cardinal. Um, you guys know what's called what I'm going after. Yeah! Yeah! Take that, Hungry! Yeah, you didn't, you didn't think I would remember how to get my cardinal back. Yeah, I did. Um, it seems like the Papal State have been insanely controlling of the Papal Sea. No, go figure there. And, for generally lack of a better terms, we are doing, you know, just kind of roughhouse building, honestly. We're just kind of sitting back and just seeing how the world works. So let's build some, like, I think you could build, like, I think I build enough army men so I can now build two more horses on the side. And at the same time, let's build some more longbows. Three, four, there we go. That should be actually over our limit now that I'm thinking about it. Yes. So I'll probably have to delete two of the men to keep my inf to keep my inf my limit good. Because I don't really have the uh, affordability to uh, go over the limit yet. I wish I did, but I don't. So let's just get these two men. We'll delete delete and you will go into that army you will go into that army you two will go into that army and you two will go into that army there we go the military has been officially and effectively divided so now with my king we have gained a core onto this so now when can we go to war with you again uh 1472 so we have about two more years the integration process oh yeah we were integrating the bar oh shoot that means my if that means my limit just went oh yeah you guys are gonna have to go I love I love this province but it's gonna have to go and we don't accept Basque in this country sorry I've, I've already made it a rule and law that we do not accept Basque you know I actually do think Basque is a pretty cool culture and one of those like I don't know, really cool surviving culture stories, but we just don't accept you and we're gonna wipe you guys off the face of the earth. So, take it as you will. Saint proclaimed! Thank you! That is a nice event. Wow, I'm really. No, this last place is actually starting off pretty good, even though we have a bad leader. You know, like, we've had like two events so far raising our stability, and I didn't even have to do it. Usually it's me who has to raise my stability and then have to wait for that horrible event that like kills everything. But this time, it was the game. So, I think, thank you, game. You guys are actually not being jerks right now. Which is so nice. Not being jerks feels nice, doesn't it, game? Doesn't it, game? I think it does. So, on the other hand, though, we have really not much to really do for, like, the next couple of years. And yes, I could take the Reconquista and try to conquer more Muslim land. But do I really want the Muslim land? Like... Do I really, in the long term of things, do they really, really matter that much? Ugh. And it's not, it's not even a matter of, like, I couldn't do it. It's a matter of, do I really want to? And I don't know if Europeans ever had this point in their time where they're just like, do I really want to conquer these people? Do I really have to? Ugh. All right, let's go send in our 20,000 men to go conquer these people. Mm, I don't want to, and they just like grumble silently to like their king, like soldiers grumble silently. Yeah, we don't want to do this. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, though, yeah, it just I don't know. It just I could do this really easily and probably conquer a lot of this insanely quickly. It just I don't really want to. It just doesn't really appeal to me. And then trying to convert the culture Berber and then trying to convert Sunni that's gonna be a pain, especially since this is like tax base eight. Ooh, that's gonna be a pain. Five income to that province. That's pretty good. Uh, we can now invest more into our cardinal. Let's see. Are they chasing me? They're trying to, but I'm keeping him way out of reach, which is good. And let's see. We have to build more docks so that we can keep our military strong and afoot. Oh, man. And now, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. Give me one second. 
That was anticlimactic. I was waiting for the administration power to finish, but that did not finish, so that did not become that became really anticlimactic. So now we should be in on no, it costs 478. Dang it! Oh man. Okay, so on the meantime then, since we are going to be in this state for a while, let's start improving the relationship with our various friends and enemies, or friend enemies, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, just kind of like become a general good guy amongst most of Europe. Because we really, in all honesty, we don't want the Europeans hating us. Which is a good thing most of them love me right now, or are indifferent. Like, most of these guys are like, yeah, Castillo. They're Castillo, we don't really care about them. Which is good, because, I don't, again, staying under the radar, good thing in this game. Uh, becoming well known and very, very much hated and publicized, very bad thing in this game. Once you get that label in, in the world, you are never going to get it away. Unless you are like a major powerful country. Like the only good, the only time I think that'd be good is if you are an insanely powerful country and you just want to go on a massive conquest spree and spread the culture of your empire to the farthest reaches of the four corners of the earth. Even though the Four Corners are a imaginary thing that humans developed, it doesn't matter. Production, let's get production. Because production would be really nice. Oh, man. And in just a couple more turns, we'll have this event. That would be pretty sweet. This is all required Diplotech. Good. And let's build another dock right there. Uh, lose stability or lose stability? Which one would I rather take? Eh, I'm over morale guy. Okay, so that was... Nice for while it lasted. Does that increase the amount of time this takes? No, it does not. Good. So now we just have to wait. And actually, before we wait, though, we are actually really close to like being able. Actually, we could go to war right now. What am I saying? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be another eight minute war, guys. We're gonna conquer all of um all of Aragon, take their capital in one turn. Finally unite the entire Spanish kingdom. Maybe, and then from there, maybe we'll also conquer Portugal. I mean, it really does depend. Portugal is like the wild card here. I don't know if we're going to conquer them or if we're going to make peace with them. It really is like depending on my mood. Okay, but now we got a diplomat free. Aragon, you knew this was coming, so don't act shocked if this happens. Finally, France will join in. Okay. Should I let France join? Nah. What, what am I saying? Why, why do I need France in this? I don't know. Let's just get our troops right there, get our ships right there, you go right there. No, actually, you go right there, you go right there. And that's basically it. <laughs> uh, my army was more well suited to this battle than they were. I'm pretty sure my army's gonna win. I mean, we have like major advantage in terms of a lot of things. So if they lose, which they are, I still got more men. Oh my goodness, you guys lost. You guys are terrible, terrible leaders. Okay, and on the side, let's see how our terrible king is. Wow. For a terrible king, that's actually not bad. <laughs> wow, that's like, he's not a bad leader. But let's go see if we can go get this guy killed. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but let's go see if we can go get this guy killed. You guys, why do you go all the way? There we go. There we go. Aragon crumbled. So let's go chase them across the land. They don't really have that much land, so let's go chase them across. It seems like Aragon wants to play. Oh, shoot. They have a big army this time. Okay, everyone back in. Back in. Yeah, it seems like I lost a little bit of dominance in terms of the sea because of that. Oh, yeah. It seems like, yeah, the next thing I'm going to be focusing on is trying to build a bigger na navy. Because they obviously, they've obviously been preparing for a state of like... I know those Castilians are gonna attack us again, so we should like prepare ourselves for that inevitable day. Cause I know for facts they will never give up. So let's go divide our men right here. Go send them in. We have two armies converging in the same location. Well only one right now. But that should be good enough. Unless we should now. Nah. I'll keep him here. He's good right here. I mean he's not really causing any problems. And let's try this again. By the way, I'm going to attach the seeds. Let's go. This many men against them should be enough to bring them down. Yep, there it does. Okay, combine all these guys. Split off the siege. Chase them wherever they want to go. Because I don't matter if it's night or day. There we go. They're all dead. And now... 
Let's see, I think these are like my only ships that made it back from the horrible slaughter that was the uh, Castilian attack. We can now get our idea group, which I'm happy of. Free slot, you guys all know what I'm gonna get. Exploration, baby! I've almost got enough for the first idea group, too. But we need to we need to save a little bit of admin tech for that. We need to wait just a little bit longer, and then we'll have it. But I think we'll be able to form Spain right before we get to do that, which is kind of going to be cool. Okay, so they're 15. I want to see what they were made of. They were made of 11. 11. Ah, dang. Stop moving around for a second. This was made of 1186. So that's... So that was basically made of bogs, and they beat me. Uh, but this is... I should be shocked, but then again, that's the Mediterranean. And the Mediterranean rules of warfare are different than the open world war of warfare. Yeah. I think. Maybe not? But I think. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna have to read up on that. Okay, so, but anyways, we are conquering all the land again. In fact, I'll put my soldiers right here and have the Emperor, the fourth of Dead Trist, just sit there and have fun sieging. Because that's what he does best, is just sit there and do nothing. Uh, the political cartoons of this guy were just terrible. And he's landing troops right there. Why would you land troops right there? You're just, you're not gonna be able to get through this. I'll have enough men to counter whatever you bring over from this island. I mean, seriously. Alright, there we go. Combine more men over here. Oh, and let's see, we're going to get some more militaristic points. Yes! More shock value, more stuff of the enabled. That's cool. We lost a cardinal. Well, too bad. So sad. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, come back from that. Hungry. Okay, there we go. We finished up with that siege. Finished up with that siege. And now we're going to go finish up with that siege. Or will they let me just get what I want now? You guys be jerks? No, you guys will not be jerks. Do I want to get them anything else? Nah, they, they can keep whatever they want. I just wanted this. So, let's get that. Thank you very much. Get all of our men now on the main continent. Can I form it now or do I need some kind of BS uh, um, formation thing? Right, whatever. Let's see, colonial expansion. Yep, admin tech at least 10. How did I guess that? That, if there's any kind of stupid... Okay, okay, okay. So I know, I know, Mom. I'll be there in one second. I'm almost done. Okay, gosh dang. So yeah, it seems like we're going to need one more admin tech. So I think after this war, I think I'm actually going to become friends. Oh, I can't become friends. I was about to say, I was about to say, I was going to become friends with Aragon so we can become, you know, not like enemies, but like good old friends. But we got mostly what we want of Hispania formed. Already. In fact, we're basically Hispania. It's just because we're having a stupid limit right now to our growth, which is kind of stupid, in my opinion. And let's get some more of these guys. And we should probably core that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I right, cancel that. <clears throat> and, yeah. I think this is about wraps, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is a good episode today. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, maybe we'll even go, maybe we'll go after some of these little Indian states over here. I don't know. There's lots of things that we can do, but I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.